Uh, tonight is January 9th, 2023, and we'll pray an order for Compline beginning on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Take just a minute here to quiet our hearts and center our minds. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker, the maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly, heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against, against you through our own fault, fault in thought and word and deed, and, and in what we have left undone. For, for the, the sake, sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is Peace now, out. and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Psalm tonight is Psalm 34 found on page 627 in the Book of Common Prayer. We will read it together in unison. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. He will keep safe all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord have mercy. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Together on page 134. Keep, Keep watch, watch, dear Lord, Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And, and give, give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. You may now feel free to unmute and we can offer prayers of thanksgiving or intercession either silently or aloud. Healing for Anita and Adam. Doris, for Pan. There. Pray for Shelly and Rick. Debbie. Susan and Al. Pray for Scott and Julie and Ann and Clint. Pray for Ryan and Debbie. Jeff. Pray for Katie and our work with her SSI. Amen. Oh, Pray for Norm. Norm. And Belinda. We give thanks for our church staff and for the conference center and Margaret. Amen. Father Allen. Wendell. Lord, we lift all these prayers to you and ask that you answer them in accordance with your will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, waking, O Lord, Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen.